another episode of Chewing the Brew. This afternoon, I'll be drinking and, and enjoying the uh, Freem Sparkling IPA. Sparkling IPA. So, I'm not exactly sure. Like, it's not an, an official style. It's an IPA. What is, what's the sparkling thing? Um, I would expect it to be more refreshing than an IPA. Um, maybe having characteristics of other things that are sparkling, which you would expect to be kind of a, a dryness and effervescence. Um, the head, I would expect to be less creamy. Just, just, this is just based on the word sparkling, not on any, you know, style definition. The first thing that spoke to me when I saw this can was it's going to be refreshing, particularly for warm days. So that was, uh, that's one of the main reasons why I grabbed it. Um, it does describe itself as more being on the tropical side. Um, and I have drunk this already. Uh, and it was quite good. But, uh, let's, um, I don't remember too much about it. <laughs> Great having short-term memory loss. Ha ha ha. No, I don't have short-term memory loss. Um, I would just have to think hard before I'd... I, I hadn't actually, I haven't analyzed it. Goodness gracious, I should just cut this part. <laughs> um, stop confusing myself. Try to describe something and don't put the thought into how it ought to be described. You know how with a, you know, a, a, a champagne, the, 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 the effervescence of a champagne is markedly different from the effervescence of a, of a beer, right? So I do see that the bubbles are, are definitely not, are definitely not creamy. Um, the body's probably to the light side. It's yellow. A um, little bit hazy. It's not, not clear. Bubbles are a little bit bigger, but they're not hanging around very long. It smells, it smells like a, like a, um, a New England IPA, a hazy IPA. Definitely stronger tropical, tropical notes. So Freem is a brewery out of Hood River. I saw their building when I was down there, but I did not go in. Uh, I see them pretty commonly in, um, in the local, local beer shops. Uh, on tap and such like that at, at tap houses and, and such in the area. They, I know they have a good reputation, but frankly, I haven't had too many of their beers. I think I might have had one one other than this. Definitely the tropical side. Um, so, passion fruit, maybe some mango. Um, green not not evergreen trees but like a, maybe a peach orchard <laughs> coordination my name is mud <laughs> oh that's better it smells really bright and fresh there's very little discernible um, bitterness to the smell. Yes, I'm using the word smell instead of the word nose. They mean the same thing. Nose means smell. So. It smells inviting. I like that. It's a good thing. So, drink it up. Okay, so it's a really, it's really mellow. It's very mellow. Um, the tropical just kind of runs straight through it. Kind of thick, um, juicy. You got uh, maybe a hint of pineapple. Definitely like guava, passion fruit, kind of the, the softer um, tropical fruits. Maybe, maybe a little bit of banana in there. Um, not, not like sharp, not tart. So 
maybe a little bit of mango, but not much, not, not very much at all. Um, and, and that's like throughout the whole thing. It's really, even the finish, like even kind of the hop oils that you're left with have the same character. So I guess that's probably the hops providing all those all those flavors. Um, it really it's really pleasant, but it drinks more like a, more like a tropical juice than a beer almost. I'm not sure that if I were tasting this, the word sparkling would come to mind. That said, it's pleasant. It's it's easy to enjoy. Um, it's not it's not bitter at all. I mean, there's definitely hoppiness to it, but but the hops are so tropical. That's that's just all they're giving. They're bringing tropical flavors and tropical smells and a tropical finish. <laughs> You're just tropics all the way. I mean, it's a it's a tiki drink in a beer can. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Tiki drinking a beer can. <laughs> I wonder if they'd consider that a compliment. <laughs> Anyways, this is the Sparkling IPA by Freem. And uh, it's pretty good stuff. I like it. Uh, it's, it's not going to knock you back with any sort of bitterness or overwhelming hoppiness um, but it's just got this really consistent mellow well-crafted tropical flavor that comes from when you first crack open the can to when you finish the last the last swig and you're you know it's just finishing off in your mouth it's it's consistent and that's good stuff anyways I've been chewing the brew catch y'all on the flip side <laughs>